hands for our God, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to be showing you a verse right now on the screen. And I want you to raise your hands if this verse is one of your favorite verses. Okay? This verse is from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. All right. I knew it. Especially here in UAE. A lot of you like this verse. It says, For I know well the plans I have in mind for you. Plans, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future, a hope and a future. Raise your hands if you like this verse. All right. We all like this verse. Of course, because we want to have a better future. Amen? We want to have a future full of hope. We want a future better than what we have today. A future where we are most more successful where we are financially doing okay and we have more possessions and we are more at peace and we experience more love. This is the future that we all want. Amen. Amen. You know what, brothers and sisters? This is actually not what this verse is all about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to break your bubble. <laughs> if, that's what, if that's the reason why you like this verse, then I'm sorry, I will break your bubble. That's not actually what this verse is talking about this verse are actually the words of God to those whom he sent on exile in Babylon there was a time when the Israelites had become so hard-headed so sinful that God allowed the Babylonians to come and attack Israel conquer Israel they attacked Jerusalem and they captured all the Israelites and they were sent on exile in Babylon they lost everything they lost their jobs they lost many of their loved ones they lost their livelihood their lives their homes they lost everything sounds familiar right for many of us we have experienced some of these things during the COVID pandemic many of us lost loved ones am I right Many of us lost probably our jobs, right? We have that same experience, brothers and sisters. You know, sometimes we become so sinful, so hard-headed. We don't deserve God's mercy. But you know what? God will always be merciful. Brothers and sisters, when trials in life become too heavy, sometimes it is a sign that God is asking us to seek Him more. Amen? You know, sometimes, yes, God promises, uh, promises us a, be a better future. God wants that for us. God, yes, God promises us, promises to give us a future full of hope. But this future full of hope doesn't spare us from pain and suffering. God's promise of goodness, God's promise of a brighter future Brothers and sisters, sometimes we go through trials and pain first and we have to go through it. Oftentimes, the only way for us to be able to seek and find God is if our hearts are trained to seek and find Him in the middle of the desert, in the middle of pain, in the middle of brokenness, in the middle of trials. Sometimes God reveals Himself only if we train ourselves to seek Him while we are broken, while we are suffering. You know, you know what this verse is actually all about, brothers and sisters? After this verse, this is what this verse is all about. I will give you a future full of hope. And then after this verse, you know what God said? The next verse, this is what God said. When you look for me, you will find me. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me. Brothers and sisters, God said, actually the complete version of the verse is, if you pray, I will let you find me. If you look for me, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, I will allow you to find me. God's promise for good is not man-centered, 
God's promise for good is God-centered. This promise that He has for us is not actually about earthly possessions. It's actually about His presence in our lives. Amen. But before we experience this presence, we need to, you know what do we need to do? God said, pray, look, and seek with all your heart. If you, what did he say? Let me repeat the words. If you pray, he will listen. If you look for him, we will find him. If we seek with all our heart, he will allow us to find him. Brothers and sisters, this is how we make straight the way. That's why when John the Baptist was declaring, make straight the way, this is how we will, this is how we will do it. Pray, look, and seek with all our heart. Let's remember that we are in the holy presence of our Father. Join me in prayer. Jesus, it is you who said you shall love the Lord with all your God, the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Father, teach us to make straight the way by calling on you, by praying, by listening, by actively looking and seeking you with all our hearts. Lord, we know that prayer is entering into our relationship, a living, loving relationship with you. And just like any relationship, it involves conversation, trust, and confidence that you are with us. Father, give us this desire in our heart to seek you more with all our hearts in whatever means we can. It can be attending activities more, it can be reading scripture more. Lord, lead us to a stronger, deeper relationship with you. Allow us to be constantly attuned to your will and anchored in your love. Lord, may our desire to know you deeply be our first step in loving you. Amen.